Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I made a super cute witch card with brand new products from the really awesome Spooktacular release from Honey Bee Stamps. Now I'm using the If the Broom Fits stamp and coordinating die and isn't this so cute? All of those witch hats and the boots and the skirt and just all kinds of images. Then the Happy Halloween stamp and coordinating die. And I'm also going to be using the, oh, it's called the Spooktacular. This is the one of the paper pads from the release. Now I have taken a, a die cut circle from the Sweet Stacks Circles, and I've just die cut that from some masking paper. And I'm going to place this on a, a card panel. This is cut down quite a bit smaller, probably a half an inch on all sides, smaller than an A2 size card and I wanna create a moon. So I'm gonna be making a mask and then I can get my ink blending going. And this is gonna be our background for some of these fun witch images. M my inspiration was I just wanted this card to feel like witchy or like a witch and just you get that witch vibe. So I'm gonna do some ink blending. I started with Twisted Citron, then I'm gonna be using some Mowed Lawn and some Black Soot. And this is in Distress Oxide inks. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth to get a really good blend to make sure that each color just flows nicely into one another. And I'm also using a mini stencil mat from a waffle flower. And this thing works fantastic and Honeybee Stamps does have this listed for sale on their website. And this is really great. And as you can tell, mine is nice and stained up, which means it's been well used and well loved for sure. So I'm just taking that mode lawn again and kind of blending out that black soot that I added just a little bit on those corners. Now I want to peel back the moon mask and we're gonna have a nice big white circle and I decided to bring in some squeezed lemonade to add a little bit of color to this moon. So I'm gonna go darker around the edges and it's actually gonna go off into the green a little bit, which I love because it gives it more of that glowing moon effect, which is totally perfect and kind of, you know, usually what you want going on for your background. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside to dry. I stamped one of the, the largest witch hat the, and the broom. And I'm gonna do the little spider and the bat, and those are just in the black ink that I stamped. This is the intense black ink from Honeybee Stamps. I want to make my witch hat look black, and I'm gonna do that by using my Copic markers in C8, 6, and 4. And I want to lay down the C8, which was the darkest color. Here is the C6. I'm blending out, it's my middle color. And then I've got my lightest C4. I'm gonna blend one more time. I didn't love the brim of the witch's hat at first. So I brought back in the C8 and kind of traced all the way around the front, which is exactly what I needed to do. I'm not sure why I didn't the first time, but that definitely made a huge difference. And I do like to blend a couple times. So it was perfect to come back in and blend a, a whole nother second time. Then I want to have a little bit of purple on the witch's hat. Uh, of course, we need the broom, which is going to be brown. I've got two browns here. And then a lighter brown for the um, sweepy part of the broom. What is that called? I don't even know what that is called. Does it even have a name? If you guys know, you guys should comment that below. <laughs> I don't even know what that, that part is called. But I did some light browns, and you can see the lids to the Copic markers that I used. So here is that purple on the band, and I will add a little bit of something to that buckle kind of at the end. So... Um, you can see how I make that look a little bit shiny. So don't panic, I will get back to that. Okay, in my Misty, I have the spiderweb from the Happy Halloween stamp set. And I am going to just ink that up with black ink over part of the moon. And I want it to look like the moon is further back. You're kind of looking through this spiderweb. I stamped, and I forgot to record it, you guys. I am so sorry. I stamped the sentiment trick or treat from the Happy Halloween, and then I did some white heat embossing. Now I'm placing the stars that are in that in the um, 
if the broom fits stamp set there's three stars three different sizes I'm going to place those down and I'm going to do some white heat embossing there so you'll be able to see some white heat embossing I did bring in my images just so I knew where to lay everything out I'm going to prep that with my powder tool stamp it with honeybee stamps clear embossing ink and then sprinkle on my white embossing powder and then heat that until it's melted which is exactly what I did for the sentiment that says trick or treat which is so super fitting and so cute so I'm going to sprinkle that on I do have my heat tool already on nice and hot just so my paper doesn't warp as much and it just melts it much much quicker so I'm going to take that to my paper and now we've got these great little stars. I'm gonna add a little something extra. This is the Bee Shimmery from Honey Bee Stamps. I'm gonna add a little bit of that inside the dots, and then I'm gonna splatter this on the background. I love this stuff. The shine and shimmer you get off of this is unreal. And I want this to feel a little magical, and look at that shine. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So I wanted this card to feel a little magical, which is why I wanted to add that Bee Shimmery uh, Shimmer watercolor to the background. Okay, so some foam tape behind the witch's hat because, of course, I love dimension, so I want this to pop up. And then we've got the cute broom that we're going to bring in as well. But I want this to just be on a little tilt. And then there's that little tiny spider hanging off his web, which I thought would be darling off the tip of the hat. And so I'm just going to let him hang there if I can ever get him adhered down underneath. He has a little bit of foam tape as well. And then the broom is going to have some foam tape. So I'm just going to trim that out with my scissors and I just want to get some really skinny pieces up on the top here and I want to tuck this around the sentiment. So when I was laying out my sentiment, I made sure that it would fit between the broom and the witch's hat. Then we have that little bat. I'm just going to adhere directly to the background with a little bit of liquid glue from Honeybee Stamps. This is the precision, uh, uh, precision liquid glue, excuse me, and I'm going to adhere him down. And I will trim off the excess. Oh no, actually, excuse me, I do not trim off the excess. I leave that alone. But I am gonna add more of that bee shimmery to, th to the uh, purple band on the hat. And then I'm gonna add some dots to the bottom of the broom and a little bit to the hat because again, I just really like that magical witchy feeling. Like maybe the witch just cast a spell and then there's just like little pieces of this glitter stuff flying in the air. That's what I imagine when I'm, I have to think up scenarios when I'm making cards, you guys. Okay, so now I have that piece of uh, patterned paper from the Spooktacular paper pad. I did trim that down A2 sized adhered that to my white A2 size card base. And then I want this inked up background to be popped up with foam tape. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the center of my card and then I can just place this down. And then I did not forget about the buckle. I brought in my black glaze pin, which is totally perfect for this type of thing. It's gonna make the buckle look shiny and it's gonna color it in all at the same time. I did not add any white highlights because I loved that bee shimmery on the background and to me that was totally perfect. But isn't this a cute card? Pattern paper, you've got a stamp, you've got die cuts, and now you've got this great, fun Halloween card. Okay guys, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.